John Moore with Phil Casso of the Cole Harbor Wolfpack talking about the, the East Coast Ice Jam, sixth annual. Phil, and maybe you can tell us a little bit about why the players get excited for a tournament of this nature. You know, it's a really big tournament here in, at the BMO Center in Bedford, and it's pretty similar to the Monctonian, and it's just it's a really big, crazy environment. The opportunity. Uh, obviously, we know scouts from across, across the league uh, Quebec Major Junior Hockey League scouts, well over 100 scouts attending it. Does that, does that do the players all are well aware of that, and uh, does that affect the play at all? Yeah, you're you're for sure aware of the scouts that are there, and it's it puts a lot of pressure on you. But you know, you do your best to kind of just go out there and play your game, and if you play your game, they'll notice you. So a tournament of this nature could be five days, could be six, seven, perhaps even I think maybe even eight games if, if you get the long schedule there. What are the keys to success in order to be, again, a, a demanding endurance tournament like this? Uh, just keep well rested and manage your, manage your time well. I know we have a 10 p.m. start to the tournament, so we're going to have to get a lot of sleep early before the tournament and get well rested and hydrated. What would be the goals for the Wolfpack going into this tournament here? You know, obviously every team wants to go in and win, and we want to get there too. So we want to do as best we can as a team and make it as far as we can. You've seen many of these teams at the Monctonian, but uh, what would be the goal for the team? Uh, the goal would probably just, probably, probably just be uh, make it past the uh, beginning and try to make it to the quarters and the semis and just see how it goes after that. But, yeah, we just want to try and win and uh, see, like, just see how it goes. And who would you consider uh, going into this tournament? Uh, again, uh, seen many, uh, certainly very familiar with the Nova Scotia teams, but uh, maybe you've seen some New Brunswick and PEI teams as well. Who'd be the Who'd be the favorites in your eyes? Uh, I'd say uh, probably the Halifax McDonalds, and uh, maybe the Moncton Flyers. Though I've seen them play in Moncton, and they both look really good. And we've played against Halifax a couple times. So far, so, yeah. What would be the goal for the Wolfpack going to this the sixth annual East Coast Ice Jam? Our goal, I guess, uh, overall is to uh, really work on our special teams, uh, really kind of be a little bit more sound defensively uh, because you do play a lot of hockey in a short period of time. Um, and, again, we always touch on Atlantics. Uh, it's a round-robin tournament. Atlantics is a round-robin tournament. So we want to make sure that uh, we can excel in a short period of time in a lot of hockey. And, finally, I don't know how familiar you are with uh, teams outside the province. Uh, I'm sure you've seen a few at the, at the Monctonian, but uh, who do you consider? What would be the teams to beat in this East Coast Ice Jam? Well, after the Monctonian, um, everyone's seen Halifax and Dartmouth uh, go at it, and we certainly see them a lot here, so uh, they would definitely be two teams to watch. Uh, Cape Breton West is certainly making some noise lately. Um, as far as the New Brunswick teams, uh, you know, uh, Fredericton, um, we did get to play Rossi. I don't know if they're in this tournament or not, but... Uh, you know, there's, there's certainly uh, good competition all over Maritimes.